honey taint so. Eb said yes, but the Lord said no, it taint so. Honey taint so. Oh, it taint so. Honey taint so. Talk to the Lord and the Lord said no, it ain't so. Oh, honey taint so. Say now it makes no difference what your problems might be. Look up, brother, and I know you will see that it ain't so, honey, it ain't so. The devil said yes, but the Lord said no, it ain't so. Oh, honey, it ain't so. Professor, now. Oh, I see. You all work for Professor Roscoe Griggles. You said it. You certainly said it. And he is the bestest officer leader I ever worked under. And what does he play? Cornet. Of course, I've never heard him play none. But he's got medals which says he's the greatest colored cornet in the world. We're going to play for a big concert and dance down here for the sons and daughters of I Will Arise next Friday night. And don't miss it if you want to hear some real music. Come on, Willie, let's go. I'll be there because I'm on the committee of arrangements. Also, the word exposition. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, that's all right. But uh, uh, in two, I played before the Prince of Wales in Paris. And uh, just a minute. Uh, here is some of the medals I get. Wiggling tripe, Professor. Did you get all them medals just for tooting a horn? Oh, most of them. You see, these two here, I get on account of I have such an elegant orchestra leader. Uh, them medals, Miss Zinia, is probably the most medals that any musician in the world has got. And uh, I might say there ain't half as many as I deserve. Oh, God, I so good as what I is. Oh, how perfectly wonderful it must be to do a big thing. Hey. To run your own business and be your own boss. Oh, but you's gonna do all of that, Miss Zinia, when you buy the Gloria Beauty Shop. But I ain't never gonna own the Gloria Beauty Shop, Professor. Oh, how come not? You said you had an option on it. Well, you see, it's like this. I and Florian Slappy was engaged to be married. And I had saved up $500 to go in business for myself. Well, week before last, he suggested that I lend him the $500, and he would double it for me in a genuine pool and lottery. But he ain't done it. He ain't single it neither. He lost every bit of it. He said he was going to pay me back, but he ain't done it. And the option expired next Saturday. Miss Zinia, I am so sorry. Now, don't cry, Miss Zinia. I ain't got that much money. But if I had it, I'd give it to you right this minute. Because I like you, Miss Zinia. Oh. I like you. Oh. And if I ever get that much money, you get the glory of beauty shop. Oh, Professor, you are so nice. Oh, now, don't mention it, really. Don't mention it. Don't mention it. Well, it's getting late, and I expect I better be gone. Uh, 
Him neither? I should say not. He's trying to take my gal. He gets his hands manicured every day. Every day? Sure. I wouldn't mind him taking my regular dance job, but he's gonna blow you too, did it? They're practicing now? Never mind. I was gonna figure out somehow we can get even with that guy. Well, maybe so. Just like it might have been played by some orchestra being directed by some bush leaguer, like Alex Champagne. Willie? You plays Abligata till you get to the fourth bar. Then you comes in with staccata and crescendo. Now, do you understand that, Willie? I tried it that way, Professor. All right, now we'll play it. Give me the cake completely. I ain't going to do nothing else but. In fact, you have it already. I have no use for a snake in the grass like you. Going to take advantage of a poor working girl. I bid you good night, Mr. Slappy. I'll get even with your Professor Roscoe Griggle if it's the last act of my life. Good evening, Lawyer Chu. Good evening. I surprised to see you here this evening. Well, well, Professor. I've been asked to ask you to play a cornet solo next Friday evening. Oh, I never plays no solo. Don't you ever? Oh, not hard. 
Every time I play the solo, I have been meddled and generally by crowned heads. But Professor, think what it'll mean to our benefit fund. <coughs> and besides, it might mean a hundred dollars to you partner if you just play one solo. Oh, I don't crave to insult nobody, but a hundred dollars ain't nothing to me, or even less than that. You see, when I solo the cornet, I get the medal. And four or five hundred dollars. For a hundred dollars, I wouldn't even play one note. See here, Professor. If you'll play two solos that evening, I'll see to it myself that you get a bigger and better medal than any of those you got. And besides, a cash remuneration of five hundred dollars. You mean to tell me you gives me $500 just to play two solos? Yes, sir. Does so you mean, Lawyer Chew, that you gives Rosco $500 just to play two little old bitty solos on his cornet? Sure. Oh, Rosco, and that's just what it takes for me to buy the Gloria Beauty Shop while the auction is fine the day after the concert. Well, what do you say, Professor? He'll take it, Lawyer Chew, won't you, Professor? That's fine. Now I'll tell you folks goodbye, and I'll report to the committee. Oh, Rocco. Five minutes in the mission, boys. Let's sit down over here, Miss Eden. Oh, Professor, I think you were the grandest man in the world. Does you think so, Miss Dean? I sure do. Hey, Willie. I crazy to make talk with you. And it's strictly confidential. All right, Professor. Excuse me, Miss Dean. Come on, Willie. Sam too? Yeah, Sam's all right. Come on, Sam. Hello, Florence. Hello. Right under the stage, Willie is where you stand in play, while I stand up on top of the stage and just make these out there. Now, can you do it, Willie? Sure I can. And you know it's Professor Griggins, because you want me to do more for you. I say I'm too. We'll go the limit for you, because you've been mighty good to us. Boy, your show is good, folks. Your show is good, folks. But listen, Willie. Is you sure that you ain't going to throw me down? You know I ain't going to do that, Professor. Ain't nobody going to never know your secret except I, you, and Sam. Boy, you speak words for soothe my buddy. Because if they could ever know that I can't play no cornet, why, man, they just lynch me, man, because that $500 is in this. Oh, man. Roscoe Friggers? Yeah. Say, man, he can't be the fastest dude on that old car. I, I, I knew we'd get him. Yeah, listen. He's going to get Willie Trout to play for him from under the stage the night of the concert. Now we'll get him. I Let's told go. you we would. Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I take great pleasure in introducing Professor Gregers, who will now play a cornet solo. <laughs> out of a cornet, but it takes the world where it's cornetta, which him is I, to get saxophone music out of one. Hot dog, brother, you sure said a mouthful. Hey, 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 you know he didn't play that piece. I'll get you a leg rock, so Yes, he's a fake. He can't play. I'll get you a leg rock, I'll get you a leg rock, I'll get you a leg rock. Folks, he ain't got no brains to know no better with. He's just jealous, that's all, of the most greatest musician in the world. I being him. The only sorrow I has got that I ain't gonna be able to play y'all no more solos this evening. On account of my cornets done busted. Cornet was a hundred dollars, if this was a cent. Silence, ladies and gentlemen. As a result of a misfortune, which was no fault of his, Professor Roscoe Gregers has busted his cornet. And it is up to us, the social elite of Birmingham, to replace that cornet. Therefore, I suggest that we appoint Bud Pigler and Equitus Moore to take up a cash collection here and now to enumerate him. Oh, Roscoe, you ain't hard as you, honey. No, sugar, but I've done busted the best corner. Friends, what was I wish to present Mr. Gregors with a check for $500 and also cash money for $200 for a new cornet. I have another announcement. I want to introduce the future Mrs. Gregor. How was it? Oh, Sam, that was fine, Sam. Get the wet, boy. 